I had mortal toil in mind at the same time, so I sort of merged the two together with my serpentine feeling from another painting, which kind of explains how this came about. Between paintings, this one I think is derived from the reading of Don't Change, Grow. More Tale differs in that it twists and really pushes the depth perception farther, which I've really been into lately. And also because of the movement in the play on perception. I compromised more overlapping the body, which I've been trying to get away from for the sake of legibility of the anatomy that I've really come to understand and appreciate the beauty of just in its simplicity. However, I feel this painting really pushed me with those triad of features I named. I love the fingers the most, as always, they really stand out as sharp, spider-like. And with those features, it also really complements the fluidity of the body. This is one of the best place sketches I've done to date. I have an issue with drawing my sketches in the center of the canvas. They typically are off center, too low or too high, similarly too far to the right or too far to the left. But this one is perfect and the body is really in harmony in regards to the paper's margins. And that would make this perfect would be if the paper was square, which I've seen 8x8 eight eight canvas paper, so maybe maybe I'll do that next. Now, I must take a moment to acknowledge what I think is an accomplishment for me. As of today, which is November 15th, my working on smaller paintings with bigger ideas video has gotten 20 views, albeit from what the analytics say, anyone who clicked that video only watched it for under... 18 to 19 seconds, and they aren't one of the 21 subscribers I've had for quite a while. It's an achievement for me. Most of my videos in the past have gotten 6 to 13 views, if that, then stagnated and not gotten any more since. If you're watching this now, I really appreciate you, and do feel free to bruise my other videos if it so pleases you. Moment passed. There is a jarring disconnect. The figure is down on its hands and knees, fumbling with its bearings. It contorts. The head is bowed, looking down and back at the body that seems so far away, foreign with its distance to the figure. Each foot is following, dragging along the ground almost, in different directions. The torso is gaping. Four eyes within the figure's raw red breast take in the situation with indifference. It is a draining ordeal. I forgot to mention, well, to think about it, I didn't want to ramble and make the video any longer than it needed to be. A previous video, that is. I can't remember which, but I brought up Audrey Beardsley and Salvador Dali in relation to dandyism. That is, being a dandy. Since I have watched the videos on the people and the subject, they have the commonality of inspiring people to question their sexuality. Art historians question if Audrey Beardsley was gay, in part to the company that he kept, or in an incestuous relationship with his sister, as there's a reoccurring woman in his art that shares a striking similarity to Ali, on the other hand, being a surreal person and artist, evades definition. And he went to brothels, but only to watch and never participated, and what he observed was meant to serve as some sort of inspiration for his art, not exactly stimulation, if you know what I mean. Not that a historian would know, which prompted me to wonder if he was asexual in some way. I scoured the internet for confirmation of this theory, and some appeared to agree. Granted, this was in 2019, I believe. Maybe things have changed. I've not really looked into it, but... I 
inquired on asexual forums and the response I recall getting, although I didn't get many because there's really no way to know and this is just a nosy thing anyway. The person who did respond, I remember they said they didn't think he was asexual, just misogynistic and he wasn't involved with women because he was misogynistic. Which you can't rule out, but it also doesn't negate he might have been asexual. Being misogynistic doesn't cancel out possibly being asexual, does it? I don't think so. Not sure. I'm a gray asexual. Oh, but I do wonder, I have my own curiosities about whether or not asex asexuality is a real thing myself, but that's probably just me. I have been curious myself if your attachment in the psychological theory of attachment can cancel out asexuality. Mm, but that's just my own personal, personal interrogation of myself. I'm a great sexual, more a romantic than romantic as well, and I've accidentally been exposed to erotica in books on several occasions because they don't have content warnings. One was T. King Fisher's Paladin series. Each of the three books contains at least two sexual encounters or unholy thoughts of said encounters to come, no pun intended. I read them, but they were rather vanilla for me after having read The Vampire Chronicles where Anne Rice dabbles in blood play. Thanks to watching a couple of Evie Lupine's videos, I know that that's what that would be categorized in as far as BDM, BDSM, as far as BDSM terms go. I thought to myself, I could write better and more interesting scenes with better conversation. But that also made me think of the Anais Nen quote, abnormal pleasures kill the taste for normal ones. Not to say I'm corrupt, but it would, it would incline me to think I am... If it came to sexuality, I would be more kink-inclined than just vanilla. Sexual education is important, and I didn't discover asexuality until I was 15 or 16 to know it was a thing to identify as, and it low-key changed my life. Because it's like, oh, this is me. I've never felt that ever, a knowing of who you are in such a way. I've all, I'm like, oh, I question everything. I've heard people speak of their sexual awakenings with cartoons. A lot of people had a thing for Simba in The Lion King, my sister included, and I just, I can't relate, even now to this day. The closest thing was probably around, again, 18 or 19, when I first watched Samurai Shamalu, Mugen, then later Afro Samurai, ugh, then later Afro Samurai, which made me question, do I have a type? But then I also questioned, I'm fond of them, but am I attracted to them? Or... Do I want to be them? Which is a queer thought. If you take anything away from this video, it is art. Truly art. And art goes on. So I will in my next video. Thank you for watching. Consider subscribing, liking, or leaving a comment if you care to.